you gotta love prop lens. This is cranked by High Tech Pharmaceuticals. I don't know if you guys are calling it Crank 3D, like Jack 3D. While it does have the same name, and I think even High Tech owns um, the same company from Jack, but they have the prop lens, they have some exotic stimulants. So is this worthy of trying? We're gonna find out. I'm gonna go into the label and then we'll go down to my experience, of course, because experiences can be sometimes different than the label. So High Tech Pharmaceuticals, this is a huge company. They are now making a pre-workout with DMHA and as you know, there are barely, not barely, but there are fewer and fewer DMHA pre-workouts these days. But there is a fun fact, High Tech Pharmaceuticals, they fought for DMAA back in the day, let's say around 2017, and it went on, the case went on for ages and they were fighting the FDA. So this is a company that's huge. It's like Intel in supplements. They are the, one of the biggest companies, if not the biggest. I don't know any other company that's as big as them and, or as old as them. They've been making all kinds of hardcore stuff. So they actually took the case to the Supreme Court. Like high tech has the funds to do that. They have the funds to make a good pre-workout. Right? I hope because this has a tiny formula. So let's start with this, um, 25 servings. But they say on the back that you should take one scoop to assess your tolerance and then two scoops if you can handle it. So 25 servings, one scoop. 12.5 servings, two scoops. What is the point? This costs as much as a pre-workout that contains twice or even sometimes twice and a half more times than the formula itself. This is 15.6 grams. There are pre-workouts at the same price range with 40 grams per scoop. Let that sink in, 40 grams. So this hopefully should be, maybe it's like a special type of pre-workout where there's lots of energy. Maybe it's worth the price for you. So the first ingredient, let's start with the ingredients. 3.2 grams of beta alanine, you know, the tingles. And of course it's gonna help with muscular endurance and strength. Citrulline silicate, this is two grams. It's supposed to be like a similar form to, to uh, citrulline malite. So it should help with nitric oxide production and it's combined with normal citrulline at two grams. And then we jump into the prop lens, the NO amplification matrix. Did Neo make this? 1.5 grams total containing, starting with arginine, the fantastic uh, ingredient that doesn't really work, but it's interesting because there is a study that shows arginine does work better when it's combined with citrulline or, and, and or agmatine. So, Maybe having our eugenine is good for the pumps. That's why we're doing this review. Then we have BEC. They give you like a scientific name. It's going to be impossible for me to pronounce without looking like an idiot, but it's basically like an amino acid, some kind of modified form of it. And it should also help with pumps. Uh, it's just reducing the enzyme that eats away nitric oxide levels. Agmatine does the same thing, by the way. Red wine extract, that's glycerol. Uh, red wine, okay, good, interesting choice. Taurine, uh, 2.9 grams in this prop land. Of course, if you take two scoops, it's double that. So even at two scoops, you're not gonna get enough creatine from this because taurine is the first ingredient in this prop land, which you'll see on this side, I think, or maybe this side. Taurine um, is the first ingredient. So the second ingredient being creatine, that's gonna be much less than taurine because taurine, if it's the first ingredient, you're gonna get much more taurine. And uh, this blend not only has creatine and taurine, but agmatine <coughs> and ATP. So ATP comes in different forms. This form is like the normal form. There's LF ATP. And there's another one I can't think of right now. Uh, I think it's peak ATP. Then we have the interesting blend, the stimulant blend. This is called the Neurogenic Energizers. 590 milligrams. Caffeine hydrus, first ingredient, DMHA, theobromine, P, yohimbine. This should all give off like a euphoric type of vibe on paper, of course. And uh, yeah, that's about it for the ingredients. So this is an interesting formula, right? Um, so think about that though. That's $4 per, per serving for a complete serving of cranked. Four dollars. That's compare that to to, to the industry standard for two dollars. 
that's double the price. Um, it's kind of high, it's premium priced, but maybe my experience will change your mind, I don't know. So that's why we're gonna jump into my experience now. So taking this, it felt very awakening for me. It wasn't, it increased alertness, but never really put me on a stair or elevation uh, path to a heart attack. <laughs> never took me to that point. It just felt like a straight arrow. Once I drank it, the arrow was shot and the energy was steady throughout the time. But there was a point where I was thinking this isn't good enough. But that's when I realized I was reading the label and it said take two scoops if you're mad enough. Well, then, no, it didn't say if you're mad enough, but it said take two scoops if, you're, if, you, if you can handle the full serving. I was like, yeah. Well, the first time I took this, I took one scoop. And then the second time was when I realized I could take two. I took two, energy was much higher, but still no elevation of having that survival mode. There was nothing like that. And there was nothing mood elevating, but it was very energetic to the point where the energy was so high that um, I felt good. I felt like I could do so much more. I just kept going in the gym. That's a good sign. Maybe the NL, you know, the NL boosters are helping, increasing blood flow and reducing lactic acid buildup. That's all in theory, of course. But there is a bunch of stimulants in here and I find DMHA to give a much more milder, milder experience compared to DMAA. It does give... But the thing is, just because it has DMHA compared to a pre-workout without DMHA, I've had a pre-workout that gave me way more... For my, it gave me way more bang per buck compared to this. Uh, it contained much more ingredients and much more pumps you know, and stimulants, but much more servings. Honestly, um, it's very energetic. That's, it, it threw me off because there was a point when I was like, my heart rate isn't increasing, but my energy is so high. I don't feel you know, the, the hard heartbeat. I feel energized, and I'm not thinking at all about the heart rate. Uh, typically with very strong stim junkie pre-workouts, there's some sort of you know, heart elevating experience, especially when there's Yohimbine in there, then you know you're gonna get slapped seven times in like a minute, no problem with your hembine. But interestingly enough, it, interestingly, interestingly enough, it does have your hembine, but doesn't give any anxiety, any jitters. It's interesting. So it's a strange experience to, because I know my ingredients and the prompt blends are completely unnecessary. We know what ingredients should be dosed at what. Uh, there's studies, there's scientific evidence that proves, you know, if you take this much citrulline, you're gonna get this much benefit. So what motivation would they have to put all these prop lens? Who knows, but someone at high tech is not doing this right in my opinion, unless it was a special type of pre-workout, like the ones with an extra ingredient that we're not asking for, but it's in there. It's even priced you know, at those kind of ranges of pre-workouts, Excelsior. Excelsior is priced you know, nearly the same as this when it comes to serving per serving. And that gives a little, in my, in my opinion, it gives way more than Cranked. But of course, Cranked is just a normal pre-workout with DMHA. And uh, the pumps were good, actually. That's, that's what surprised me. So the blood flow was probably improved with this, and I felt like it gave me way more pumps. It wasn't uh, overwhelming or anything like that, but it definitely took me to Pump City. But high tech, I know you have someone watching these videos, and you could like take a pen and paper, Please uh, don't make prop blends. We know the dosages. That's what these videos are for, is to educate you on the right dosages, on the right ingredients that actually bring something to the table. And it's not a secret. Companies don't need to keep it a secret. And actually that's a trend these days. You don't see that many prop blends. Everything is disclosed. Almost now 99.9%, .9%, except this is in the one, you know, this is in the 0.01%. 100% like for real they did mess up with this um, this is a formula that would do good prior to you know 2010 maybe 2015 <laughs> nowadays we know everyone knows the average consumer just has access to so much information why would it be a secret to know the dosages of the of the ingredients and so really why like that's that's the question right we all have an experience doesn't match up to the value four dollars per serving that's a whole lot that's double that's mind-boggling that's they have a lot of money high-tech but they decided to go this route 
So if you decide to get this and you think it's worth it for you and you have the budget, I guess, go ahead, try it out, fit freak for the discount code. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. It means a lot to me when I see people commenting. So thanks, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. And uh, give this a try. No, I don't, I don't recommend it. Zero. But if you have the extra money and you're like, I, I need to know what the experience is like, then maybe, I guess. That's up to you though.